All right, and we're in the kitchen with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh. Did you like Ghostbusters? Come oh, on, I loved that it. Was it. A classic. Uh, it was. It was. It was. It was a cult film. Yeah, and right. you you want to see a remake, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, well, yeah. All right, what are you it's, making? It's, what are you making? In well, here? We're, I'm just going to get started a little bit quickly, but we're going to make a we're going to do a stuffed honey crisp apple. Mm -hmm. We're going to fill it with some savory stuffing. And we're going to do a uh, turkey, some wild rice, a few different flavors. Honey make kind of, crisp apple. How mm -hmm. can you fit all that stuff in an apple? That was a well, lot of stuff you just named. Well, you're going to you're going to fit it <laughs> I'm in. I'm going to help so. you out. <laughs> yeah. All absolutely. right. Okay. So we'll be back. We're going to get to cooking. It's kind of like a fall theme in here. It is. All mm -hmm. right. So we can't wait to get started. Stick around. All right, we are back in the kitchen. We've got Chef Bob over here. We've got some apples. We've got some turkey. We've got a whole lot of got little lot other of goodies that we're going to be stuffing into an apple. Where was your inspiration? Where did your inspiration come for this dish? I, I don't know. Just you know, it was we've we've done stuffed uh, acorn squash and stuff like that. I just wanted to do something kind of fallish. Okay, you know, so fallish. So fallish. where do we start? So we're going to start with the apple, and mm -hmm. you're going to start showing me how you're going to do. Got my core. Yeah, we're going to end up trying to get. The vessel, and this is a Honeycrisp apple, and it's wow. going to be, end up being like this, hollowed out. That looks so perfect. And, and you're going to you're going to do it. You're going to make perfect. Cut all the right. top off a little bit, just we to cut kind the top of off. Okay. And core it down. Okay, but don't okay. go all the way through. You were saying. Uh, yeah, if you can't, but you go ahead. Yeah, keep on going. You can go all the way through because we're going to seal this off. There you go. And now pull that out. All right, I don't think okay. I did enough. Well, that's good. Okay, now you're going to go ahead good. and finish this, finish scooping out, and then okay. put, put save the uh, good meat over there if you can. Okay, I got to follow my example over here. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the stuffing. Stuffing here is going to be kind of a basic thing. It's going to, we're going to use the ground beef, uh, the ground turkey. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's going to be. So we're going to do a little onion, a little celery. You've already cooked off the, the ground turkey. You just put what a little bit of I salt did. and pepper on it. Yeah, a little salt and pepper just for flavor. So this, Whoa! Hey, you didn't go. tell me there's flames hey. today. I'm thinking it's nice okay, apples, so. turkey, and then there's flames. Hey, the flames. You know, got those campfires going in the fall, right? Yeah. Hello. There you go. Okay, and we got that going there. We're just getting a little flavors kind of coming up. Mm -hmm. We're going to add to that a little bit of wild rice. And I've just done that, that pre cooked stuff again, that 90 second bag. Mm -hmm. Make it easier on yourself. Won't go okay, through. so we've got the onions, the celery, the wild rice. Yeah. I am still coring my just apple. What else? Apple. I'm going to do a little dried cranberries. How about that? Dried cranberries. Cranberries in there. How about a little pecans? Do you like pecans? Not so much, but I'm sure uh, it'll work. <laughs> just okay. being honest. Okay, well. You were, you're supposed to go with me. Okay, yeah. yes, I love pecan. <laughs> okay. Pecan, pecan. Yeah, we're just getting that kind of work in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a little seasoning with salt, or pepper, I'm sorry. And then we're going to do a little bit, how about some Italian seasoning here? Or you can just use some sage. And I got a little cinnamon for flavor. So what is the flavoring going to end up like when you put all these things together? What kind of taste will we get? Fallish. Very fall. <laughs> fall flavors. Fall flavors, you know. Kind of a pumpkin flavors to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're gonna, and then we're just gonna bring that together with a couple other flavors. We're gonna add the, the turkey back here. Mm-hmm. Mix that in. And now, is this like, would this be your meal? This like, could be. This is could one, be a one of these yeah, stuffed apples one. gonna fill me up when it's all said and done? Well, you'd be the judge on that. And I'm just adding a little brie. This is our cheese of the month here, but this is a spreadable brie that's already Ooh, kind that of creamy. that looks good. And just add that to it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add some. Uh, Smoked cheddar. Smoked cheese. cheddar. You want to do a cheddar cheese? Always goes good with apples. Yes, add it right in. Okay. All right. And so that's kind of pretty much there. Mm -hmm. And the stuffing is done. Mm -hmm. But you also notice that everything's already cooked. So right. we're going to go ahead and stuff the apple. And just. Now, how much uh, do you want to stuff it with? Fill it on up. Just fill as it much up as. To the top. Yeah, as much as can Did get in. Did you do a here. good job pouring that apple? What do you think? You did great. Thank you. How much time we got? We got. We keep going. We keep going. Keep going. Keep rolling on. Okay, and you go ahead and do that one. We got two more there. Okay. I'll get things ready over here. We got about another minute and a half or so. So oh, what's do next? We? What are you gonna okay. do next? You got some pie crust. We're gonna what do a gonna pie do crust. That? We're gonna wrap the pie crust on the outside, and we're gonna make this in croute or just do it. In croute. Yeah. That sounds fancy. It does sound fancy. You're just saying we're putting the dough on it. <laughs> So then I take it after this, we will be baking. We'll be baking in the oven at about 450. How long do these take to make? I mean, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes in the oven? In, in the oven. So yeah. after your prep time? Your prep time is about 20 minutes. Your cook time is about 20 minutes, and then okay. you're, you're ready to go. So okay, it's I'm like just, all in one because you've got a little yeah. bit of your cheese, you and got the meat, you got some fruits. Absolutely. And, you can, and if you want, you can go ahead and uh, do a 
Make your own pie crust. That's up to mm -hmm. you. Um, okay. Dave, for convenience, we already have this. The ready made. And yeah. so you just cut it in half. I cut it in half and I just pull this and I'm going to wrap it around. Just wrap it, but you want to leave that top part open still. Yeah, leave the top part open. And then I kind of tuck it underneath. Fold it underneath. Okay. But, and you know, oh, that turned on me a little bit. Live TV, right? Okay. You miswrapped. I'm no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just really concerned about the flavor at the end. I know well, you're all about presentation, but I'm just yeah. about how it tastes. Oh, well, hey, you know, it's, well, <laughs> hopefully you're going to be the judge of that, too, because we got, you can taste that. Why don't okay. you taste that and see what you think of the stuffing. All Next right, year. well, I'm going to taste yeah. that. Okay. Um, we are going to be wrapping this up. We're going to be baking okay. it, and then we're going to be talking a little bit about dessert and other stuff going and dessert, on. Dessert and Farm fresh and maybe wine. We'll be talking uh -huh. wine. So you don't want to miss that. We'll do that a little bit later on. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen now with Chef Bob Harasawa from Farm Fresh. And, you know, last time we were stuffing some apples with some autumn feast goodness. And um, you got a little fancy wrapping that pie crust. You braided it and well, made a nice little, I guess, um, lip around it. Yeah, we can do, you can cute. do whatever. Just one, you know, we were kind of putting it together when we, mm -hmm. when we left. And then last thing you want to do is go ahead and brush it with a little beaten egg. Okay. Kind of take a little egg, just a little bit, a tablespoon of water, and just kind of beat it up, and then brush that around. You want to go ahead and do that. And okay. Yeah. So uh, now it's going to be ready to put in the oven once we brush Pretty it. Much. And I just like to use it, put a little bit of a crust on the top. Okay. So and you got some I just crackers. Got, I got a Ritz cracker and just kind of just simply crush it down. Easy as that. Just yeah. crush it. And so and you have a little. Crumble. And then you don't want to sprinkle too much on there, but mm -hmm. you want to just put a little bit on top. Very nice. Very top. nice. So you just use like a little yeah. foil pan. Yeah. And then, um, and then you're going to put it in no, the oven. Put in the oven what does he say, 450 for about, about 20 minutes? About 20 minutes. And you want to just get get it um, round off. Here mm -hmm. we go. Just go in the oven. All right. Put this in the Don't drop the apples. Yeah. And I just want to also mention that we did do, uh, of started course. it off with we the uh, with the um, uh, turkey, ground mm -hmm. turkey. And that's part of our new line, the whole, whole harvest. Uh, right. Whole harvest the hormone-free. Hormone-free. Uh, Antibiotic free. You feel like you really then, can taste the difference. And then here we got the finished product. Can you taste the difference in that hormone free? Uh, it does taste. It, it tastes. It tastes cleaner. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it, it's you know it, the main thing. I guess it doesn't taste any different, but you know it is better for you. Right. Okay. And then here's the apple. So of course we have a couple that these ones are already done. Right. And our baked stuffed apples. Okay. And then, and then I just want to kind of cut into one. So how many do you eat in one sitting? Oh, uh, you can eat as many as you want. I think this this is actually going to give really you enough. Will one really kind of fill you up? Yeah. And then that's the. Oh, look at that. Okay. That right looks there. great. So that's. There you go, ready for your fall feast, oh, radio trigger treating. Right. Get some pumpkins out. Yeah. All right, so we're also talking wine today, and we've got Kelly here. She's the wine and beer consultant from Far Fresh. We've been talking wine all week on the show, yes, and we can't yes. leave you guys out. What did you bring us today? Well, celebrating Virginia Wine Month, I've chosen wines from Prince Michelle out of Leon, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And two grape varietals that people forget that really do very well in Virginia is the Viognier, which is the white, and then mm -hmm. we've got a Cabernet Franc. And they do great in the Virginia climate. Um, you've seen Cabernet Franc originated in France, and as long as as well as Viognier. Mm -hmm. And now this is a perfect climate, Virginia. And these are great wines, celebrating our heritage here mm -hmm. in Virginia. What do you like in particular about these ones? Uh, I like the Viognier because it's got a little bit of body like a Chardonnay, but it's totally different than a Chardonnay. So if you have a lot of Chardonnay drinkers, mm -hmm. uh, or non-drinkers actually, then I think they would really enjoy the Viognier. Because mm -hmm. you'll hear people say, I don't really like Chardonnay, but they like the texture. This is a perfect wine. Okay. It's got a little bit of mango on it. Ooh, that and, then, nice. and the Cap Franc is comparable to a Cabernet. Sauvignon, so it's mm -hmm. going to be heavier, um, great in the wintertime when it's nice and chilly out. All right, so you are the resident beer and wine consultant yes. over there at Farm Fresh. Yes. How many wines do you guys keep available? Oh, my goodness, thousands. Really? <laughs> well, no, not, probably not thousands. How do you get to know but, them all? Well, and you know, every day you're in the same store, so you do get familiar with them. Mm -hmm. And when you get wonderful foods like Chef Bob prepares, and then mm -hmm. you get these pairings, and it's just, it's mm -hmm. so much fun to try and... But, but you can always expect to go to Farm Fresh and you can find a you good can selection. You can find a very good selection. And our regional wines will mm -hmm. have all of our Virginia wines. Oh, that's so great. So look for the regional section in the wine department. That's great. What would you put with his uh, stuffed apples? I apple? think the Viognier would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Might be a nice pairing yes. there. All right. So, uh, Chef Bob. Yes. And we have... We can't end the segment without talking about the desserts you brought and yeah, then also absolutely. some of the food drive items. So let, let's take a look over here. Those cookies have been looking at me <laughs> this whole show. Well, the cookies are on sale this week, but we also want to feature, we got some, some are, of our gourmet uh, uh, fresh fruit pies. Okay, and, and what pies and did you bring? We, we brought an apple pie and a cherry pie, and these are our lattice uh, work pies. But they are um, going to be definitely be on special now through the holidays. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some we got to try. And, and 
a great way to finish yeah. it off. You have your wine, you have your stuffed apple, yeah. you have your dessert. Yeah. And then yeah. also we want to mention the food drive bags. They've mm -hmm. added the Wags of Love, and that's for pets. Yes, it is. It's uh, sponsored by Purina and has Purina products in there. You pay $8 for the bag, a little bit more, but you do get a coupon for $4 off future Purina uh, purchase. Right, and you're also helping to feed some, some animals it, that, it, that need it. donated to our local shelters. Okay, yeah. sounds good. So you want to visit one of our Farm Fresh locations across Hampton Roads. You can find the one closest to you at farmfreshsupermarkets.com. As always, great to have you here, Kelly Thank and you. Chef Bob. Thank you.